In this video, I'm going to be telling you which one I prefer, the Adidas Boston 12 or the Socony Endorphin Speed 4. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running coach who likes to review running shoes here on YouTube. Now this is going to be a difficult video people, I'm just going to pre-warn you because I've got to decide between two of my current favourite shoes. Now before we do anything we've got to give a shout out to the guys at Start Fitness. Head over to startfitness.co.uk where you can buy both of these shoes and if you use the code 40 Runs you're going to get a nice little discount. Okay so when Speed 3 came out I just for whatever reason found myself gravitating towards the Boston 12. Now the Boston 12 has got an element of Light Strike Pro in it. Uh, we've got the, where is it, the Energy Rods here. We've got Light Strike 2.0 in it, which is a little bit softer than previous versions. It's got an upper that sort of um, caused some issues for some people, but I've had no problem with it. It fits true to size. It's about the same sort of price as the Saucony Speed 4. It fits great and I think it suited people that couldn't get on with the Saucony Speed 3. Because the foam compounds are very different. This is a much firmer feeling shoe but when you get on it, it does come alive. You don't have a plate in the shoe, you have the energy rod system. So the feeling is completely different to what you get on the Saucony. You also had, versus version 3, a very good Outside, we've got continental rubber here all the way down. Look at that. And it's fantastic and it's very durable and it's very grippy. And it provides the perfect solution for one of the best super trainers out there. And that's why I say I found myself really pulling for the Boston 12. It was an absolute game changer for me for Adidas last year. But like I said, one of the things that did let it down was the upper. It's a little bit coarse and it rubs some people up the wrong way. But so many people love the shoe, but I got such great feedback from so many people on the uh, recommendation that I gave them about buying the shoe, and people have absolutely loved it. But here's the thing, the Speed 4's come out, and the Speed 4's had some changes that I think are quite significant. And I think what they've done is they've taken the sort of greatest hits from one and two, the sort of speedier elements that you got with one and two, that kind of got lost on version 3 because version 3 was that little bit more sort of daily trainer focused and what they've done is they've sort of taken elements of that sort of daily trainer focusedness from version 3 and they've stuck it together with version 1 and 2 and what they've done here is created a much more sort of versatile shoe. That's probably the best way to describe it. It is so versatile. You've got the new winged plate in there, which has ironed out some of the stability issues, which sent a lot of people over to the Boston 12. This wing design has ironed some of the problems out. You've got flaring on the medial and lateral side of the shoe and also at the heel to again, iron out some of those stability issues. The PB foam is still soft, but it's responsive enough to give you that sort of confidence to run fast, isn't it? The nylon plate is not particularly stiff, but you are going to get enough bounce back from it with the speed roll technology to go after it. And you can race in the shoe, and you can feel comfortable at the same time. The new upper on this shoe, compared to the Boston 12, is like on another level. The upper on this shoe is phenomenal. So sitting here right now, if you said to me, Fool, you could go and run a half marathon, I would take the Speed 4 every day of the week. I really like what they've done to it. I really do. And look, the changes aren't like night and day but it's it's been tweaked in the right way they've made changes that have sort of ironed out some of the issues that i think some people found with version three which were the fact that it was so daily trainer focused it lost some of that get up and go it has found its way back to being sort of closer to one and two the version three now look the boston 12 is still an absolutely awesome shoe it will continue to sell very, very well because it's such a good shoe. It's so versatile and it, yeah, it, it sort of ticks so many boxes and it is a firmer ride and the upper is a bit of a letdown, but I'm telling you now, this is still a very good running shoe. So I have been swayed towards the Speed 4. For me at the moment, this is the pick of the Super Trainers. Well, actually, I really like the Deviate Nitro too, mainly because it's under a hundred pounds. But that aside, right, <laughs> let's put that to one side. I think out of these two, for me, I'm gonna go Speed 4, which is a big call because I really pushed the Boston 12 last year. But I wanna be honest with you and transparent with you and say right now, for me, the Speed 4 is edging it because of the feeling I get from the foam and the speed roll and the nine on plate and the upper. It just feels that a little bit more complete in terms of the package. But you could do a lot with both of these shoes. Again, you can do all your training runs in these shoes and you can take all of these to race day, okay? They're very, very good running shoes, both of these. 
But for me right now, I'd go for this. Right guys, so there we go. Um, like I said, if you get over to startfitness.co.uk, you can put both of these shoes up. You can use my code 40 runs, you're gonna get them a little bit cheaper. But yeah, big shout out to the guys at Start Fitness, thank you very much. But that's it for me guys, let me know in the comments, agree, disagree, and I'll jump in there when this video drops. Right, I'll catch you later. <laughs>